everyone, this is Robin Hattersley from Campus Safety Magazine. In response to last month's Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting that left 17 people dead, we're finding that schools, districts, and local and state governments around the nation are dedicating more resources toward improving school security. Campus Safety previously reported that Florida Governor Rick Scott has unveiled a plan to improve school safety that's worth nearly $500 million. Part of that plan would focus on getting individuals with mental health issues the help they need. Additionally, it would place a threat assessment team in each school. Scott's plan would also ensure a clear line of communication between schools and law enforcement as well as child welfare agencies. Additionally, the plan would put law enforcement officers in every public school in the state. Each officer would be a sworn sheriff's deputy or a police officer and would be present during all hours students are on campus. Other security measures would include metal detectors, bulletproof glass, steel doors, and upgraded locks. But Florida isn't the only state looking to increase funding for school safety and security. MyAJC.com is reporting that Georgia's legislative leaders are proposing $16 million in grants so districts can beef up their security. Additionally, in Minnesota, Governor Mark Dayton is proposing $21 million for security enhancements and mental health improvements. Valley News Live reports that the improvements would include bullet-resistant windows and secure entrances, as well as an expansion of mental health services. Additionally, Dayton's proposal would direct student, uh, school districts to share information on expelled students with administrators and law enforcement. New Mexico is another state making more resources available for K-12 protection. The Albuquerque Journal reports that the state will earmark up to $40 million over the next four years to upgrade public school security. Up to $10 million per year will be available for security projects like fencing, intercoms, and controlled entrances. The funding, however, is not new money. It will come out of the fund that pays for other school capital improvements. Governor Susana Martinez has also suggested hiring retired police officers to protect campuses. Districts are also setting aside more funding for security upgrades. Campus Safety Magazine recently reported that the Eastern Area School District in Pennsylvania will put armed security officers in each of its seven elementary schools. The school board has authorized the addition of 10 to 12 part-time positions to focus on these campuses. The superintendent for the West Genesee School District in New York says that his 2019 budget plan is heavy on school security. CNY Central reports that the district is considering a, a proposition for $2 million that would go towards new security measures. Those options include hardening, hardening entrances and classroom doors, as well as the adoption of new identification systems. Monroe, Connecticut schools are also looking to make improvements. School Superintendent John Batista is investigating the benefits of hiring school security officers. These officers are armed and must be ex-police officers or ex-military who have left their positions in good standing and have been trained by the local police department. It should be noted, however, that the Monroe Courier is reporting that Batista is not considering replacing the SROs that currently patrol the district's campuses. In Pennsylvania, the Anne Arundel County Executive has unveiled a two-year, $14.8 million plan that would boost school security with more officers, more secure doors, and bulletproof shields. The Capitol Gazette is reporting that the proposal would add 20 SROs to public schools, which is enough to staff every high school and middle school with an officer. Other improvements include lock upgrades for 4,000 classroom doors, double door security at all high schools, and more than 1,500 video surveillance cameras. It should also be noted that last month, Anne Arundel County Sheriff Ron Bateman called for metal detectors, bulletproof doors, and x-ray machines at all county schools. Additionally, Pennsylvania Governor Larry Hogan has also announced $125 million in funds to enhance school safety and $50 million in additional operating funds each year for school safety grants. Now, for those of you who've been involved in campus security for some time, these developments aren't all that surprising. 
You know that the Parkland, Florida high school mass shooting isn't the first time a campus tragedy has led to improvements in school security nationwide. A study conducted by Campus Safety Magazine in 2013 found that the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School mass shooting prompted nearly 9 in 10 K-12 respondents and more than 1 in 2 university and hospital respondents to make changes in their public safety programs. The 2007 Virginia Tech mass shooting also made many education stakeholders review, implement, and upgrade a wide variety of solutions related to safety and security. What I've mentioned in this video is just a snapshot of some of the budget proposals that have either been approved or are currently being considered across America. Stay tuned to CampusSafetyMagazine.com for additional updates. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day.